Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am very excited to present to you my tiny library that I've created over the semester at RISD. If you guys don't know who I am because I know we have a lot of new subscribers, my name is Tiffany, I go to Rhode Island School of Design and I am an illustration major. I'm a senior this year which is crazy because I started vlogging when I was like a freshman so if you guys want to stalk me you can go all the way back there and see my old projects. I also made videos on a bunch of these projects because I really like to vlog my process. I've acquired a tiny little library of books that I've made this semester because I took a class called Artist Book and so I made a bunch of books through that class. Also from my final for my other class I just made a book that the vlog should be up by the time um, this comes out so it's probably the video before this. I've made a bunch of books and I really wanted to come share them with you guys and I will link each individual video down below if you guys want to see it in the description box because I go into detail on how I make I think all of these books I have logged so if you guys want to see that that will all be there but let's go ahead and get into it because I am super duper excited to be showing you all my books I have them in two stacks I have the blue stack this one's red but it's like red and blue and then I also have the pink stack and so yeah two different types of things that I really made this year because I like to branch out with color but I think at this point in my journey as an artist I've found some colors that I really like and like attach myself to so blue and pink have been the two colors of this season and I'm very excited to share them with you guys so let's go ahead and get into it I don't know which one to start with first um let's just start with the blue one because I think I have a little bit less in that category so for the first blue one I have the magic mouse book which I really loved how this one came out this is actually the cover and it says evil Mr. Cheese versus Magic Mouse and that is how it begins and this is a flutter book which means it flutters so you can read it like this if you wanted to this way or you can read it the other way and then you can also open it up and read it that way and a flutter book opens up into a single sheet of paper if I can get it to do that rather seamlessly and I made this book themed around Magic Mouse which is a little character that I created earlier last year or the year before that. He's just a grumpy little mouse and he's the sidekick of Flower Cat, which I also end up making a book about that I will show you soon. But for Flower Cat, I made a pink book, so that'll be in the pink category. I never really talk about Magic Mouse or his little adventures, so I figured I should make a book just for him, dedicated. And I love how like the covers came out. This was very much an afterthought, but I just really think it's cute. And I did some of my scribble comics, which is just comics that I do when I kind of don't have time to be putting the most effort into this project. So I did this in like, I think one night. Um, unfortunately, I feel like it would have turned out probably better if I had more time. But a lot of these projects also only give you a one week to two week deadline and I have a bunch of other classes as well so I can't really like focus on it sometimes. I love how this one came out. I think it's so cute and everyone, my professor really likes this one in particular which I find interesting because I don't think it's my best one but she loves this one so I also love this one and I really like the colors of this one too. I think this one's- I used a lot of construction paper this year for all my books and I don't really know why this isn't really something I used before and I used to actually kind of hate construction paper for my next book it is just solely construction paper I'm sorry it's so blown out but here he is it's a little guy this is a little anatomy book and I have a ribbon that ties them together because he likes to just open up he doesn't do a very good job of staying closed but this is also a very quick project that I did. We have the muscles, the skeletal system, and then the cardi cardio system, cardi cardiology. I don't know the hearts and the the circulation, circulatory. Yes, circulatory. But here he is. This is a very simple one, kind of inspired by the toy where you're a surgeon and you try not to touch the edges. I don't remember what it's called, but a lot of my work is inspired by toys. In case you guys haven't noticed, so this guy has a little open tummy and you can just see like inside and this was meant to be a star book which is just like these dioramas on the side you can see they pop up but a multiple of them because we also had another project that was just a diorama that I will show you guys after but this one was just inspired by how I love science um, in another life I want to say I would have gone into the medical field a lot of my work I'm interested in tying science and art together especially for children because I also love toys so that's like kind of the, the middle ground that I've reached at this point right now I just 
just think they are so, so cute. And I really like how he came out in his face. And this is inspired by another one of my projects that I did earlier in the year. I will also be showing you guys in just a second. But he ties closed with a bow because he won't stay closed. And that's him. And some of these projects don't have names. I don't really have a name for him. He can be like anatomy guy. I don't know. The these guys are a little genderless. So I don't really know what to call them. My next project, which is the diorama that we've been talking about, is this project. It's a little ghost book. And I made this because I had to make a diorama and it honestly wasn't my favorite medium to work with. I don't really like doing pop-up cut out 3D things out of paper as of right now. My opinions might change, I don't know. I did this based on a memory of when I went on cruises with my family when I was younger and my dad and I would stand on like the deck at night because I don't really remember why we were there, but it would be like pitch black outside and we would look over the railing and my dad's like, look at the water and I would be so scared. And looking back, I don't know how he was able to just like look at it and not be frightened because I was terrified and that like, I don't know, I can still remember how scared I was because that that is, I think a lot of people don't like water at night, but yeah, that was like really scary. And so I did this based off of the feeling of looking at the water at night. And so it's all black in there and it has little ghosts on the ocean. And so this is just kind of something silly that I did. Originally, this project was supposed to be Halloween themed. That's what my professor wanted us to do, which ended up changing her mind, but I still had the theme of ghosts. And I had this paper that's see-through and it's kind of translucent as well and I really wanted to use it to make ghosts because it was Halloween time and I was really feeling the ghosts so I needed to find something to do with it and I thought acetate would also be a really fun like touch to it because as you can see it's different layers but the acetate makes it like move when you open it so it looks like the ghosts are like they're like shaken in the wind or something I don't know and I just really loved like the way the water looked and everything so I thought this came out pretty cute the cover was a bit of an afterthought but like I just needed a cover for it I love how they look inside and I actually yeah surprisingly ended up really liking this project despite how much I did not enjoy making it I think that doesn't usually happen to me I usually have like a very clear-cut thought of how things are gonna go and then I just do the project and so this one kind of took me by surprise because this is not something I've done before I think the black also looks like stunning I don't know what it is about it I don't normally use black in my projects but I just think this color palette like looks so good I also got a critique that I did too many pink things, so I did a blue thing. And then my last blue thing is actually a project that I did literally yesterday because it was my final project for a different class, not for my class that I'm in. Uh, the artist book is not for that class, but I did a book anyway, so I wanted to include it in my little library. But this is a comic book that I made called Vanish, and this took me way too much time. This was a five week project, and I have two other versions of it because I really like to present things in like numbers because I think it makes it look nice and as if it were mass produced which is something that I like really like. I think ideally I get a lot of my work mass produced because like I like the consumability of all these things and how they could be turned into things that are carried in stores and that would be like a goal, a dream. So if anyone out there manufactures things, hit me up. Oh my god. I made three of these as you can see. This would be like a full size one but Honestly, I think I like this size more because I think it looks, it just feels better in the hand. But yeah, I have a bunch of them. This one is laminated on the cover and I didn't do it for the other two because I think the laminated part actually doesn't look as good, which you will be shocked to see because my other few books are all laminated because I love laminating things and cutting them out and doing this process. So. I think it's because it was on black paper that it makes it bubbly and not look as good because when it doesn't have that, it's just like a really deep, dark, rich black, which I love. It says the Millennium Bug. I should probably show you this one because there's no glare. But yeah, so it's just a comic book that I wrote and drew and this took me a long, long time. It has 10 pages, which is a lot and I, I don't know why I did this to myself, but I think it came out pretty good, all things considered and the front and back, the covers were definitely an afterthought. I don't know why I haven't been like working on covers very hard this year, but it's just like the content inside a book already takes so long that it's hard to focus on the outside once you're done, especially when you only have like a few weeks to do some of these projects. Like most of these projects I did in one week. This one was much, much longer, but yeah, I have a couple of these. Someone asked if I will be selling this on my Etsy and I don't know if you want to keep up with what I sell on my Etsy, you can follow my Instagram. I'm considering sending these out. 
I don't know, but the spines are covered, so I think they look really cute. All little like holographic guys. So if you guys want to see this on Etsy, let me know down below and I might consider it. I don't know. It takes a lot of work, but like since these are printouts, I can possibly do that. But that is the end of my blue section, as you can see. And now we move on to the super cute pink section, which I'm very excited about. And I wanted to make more pink work but my professor did not want me to, so I stopped. First thing I have are these anatomy babies, which I made in a video that is popping off right now. And if you guys haven't seen that video, please go watch it because I go into so much detail about how I created these guys, but they are magnetic and they're made out of clay and they open up. And how is this a book you may ask? It's not really a book, but it's a container for a book that I have yet to create. And here's a hypothetical like accordion book that I would make. You stick it in there and then you close it and then you open it and yeah um this is not entirely a book but i wanted to sneak it in this video because i did make it for my book class and i just i adore these guys i really love them i posted some cute pics of them on my instagram as well if you guys want to keep up with any of my work you should check out my instagram but yeah these guys are magnetic i will not be selling these on my etsy i've gotten a couple like direct messages on etsy about this and i'm i apologize but these take way too long to make that i could not sell these at a marketable price i think but they are very very cute and they're magnetic and they stick together and so these are my little anatomy babies and they have a brain this guy has a brain in there and then you can you can hear his brain rattling inside but yeah i want to make more organs for them yet to get to it but i definitely will soon but those are my anatomy guys and then the next i have is the flower cat book which we have mentioned the flower cat book is a similar concept to the magic mouse book where it's a lot of kind of like nonsense i use the same translucent paper this is called denral vellum that i used in the ghost book and you can see i cut out flower cat and then doo -doo -doo some little comics about him, Morale, which is worm backwards, someone told me. Yep, we just have a lot of comics throughout this guy for Flower Cat. This was the first book I did for this class. It's just very cute. It has a lot of like scribble comics, which are just like the messiest kind of comics that I do. But Flower Cat has like a little character I created. He's very angsty, but he's very cute. So he's very harmless. And I talk about him a lot and yeah, that's Flower Cat. But yeah, that's the book about him. The outside's very plain, but the inside is quite um, like explosive. So yeah, I restrain myself on the exterior to save what's inside. But more likely it's that like I ran out of time because this actually was a one week project. I did it at the last minute, of course, so. I have a video on this as well. This was like my first vlog. And then next project, the final project, the best project that I just made a video on is the dollhouse project. Oh my God. So this was the ultimate artist book that I did. I made a whole dollhouse to go with it and I think it looks so cute. And inside you have your little book and you could actually read it like inside here if you wanted to, or you can take it out and use this whole thing as a functional dollhouse, which is very, very cute. And I did wallpaper and everything. Yes, ma'am. Yes, I did. And I did carpeting and everything. It looks so good. And there's, a, and there's a thing on the end so you can close your little dollhouse if you wanted to. And I just think that it overall looks so cute and I love him. And this is my baby from this year. Um, this is going in my portfolio because I think it looks great. To the book. The book, I made a first edition of this and this did not look as good. This was the first thing I brought into class and I didn't get any like negative crit on it. I think it went well, but I just wanted to make it a little bit better. So for the dollhouse, I just redid it real quick on some felt. And this was really, really fun to do because I wasn't expecting it to turn out this nice and squishy, but because it's paper on felt and the middle is like hollow, it's very, very squishy and gives it a very um, childish, like children's book, like infant book um, feeling, which I really love. Like I love board books. I've yet to make a board book, I really need to. But yeah, I just think it looks so, so cute. The bow is, there we go, I fixed the bow. But yeah, it has a little bow that goes around on the inside and I just think it looks great. And this is a haiku. Oh baby bunny, hiding inside their new home. Soft, sleepy, good night. And so our assignment for this was to make a book about a haiku. Some people did very like deep, meaningful things in my class, but I like children's toys. So I did something simple. Also, I don't like being very deep with my art in case that hasn't been obvious with any of my work. Um, I very much like being cute and happy and like 
childish so that is that but i think that brings us to the end of all of our books that we've made so if you guys want to see any of these videos they will all be linked down below for you guys and i just i've made so many there's more than this i'm like not even holding all of them but i really appreciate all of you guys watching throughout this entire semester it has been so wonderful and i really enjoyed vlogging this semester i'm gonna take you guys on my journey next semester as well which will be my last one at RISD. so if you guys are new here subscribe so you won't miss that i really appreciate all of you guys and i want to thank everyone new who has subscribed recently i will be posting pics of these on my instagram for real i know sometimes i say i post pics and then i don't it's because i haven't taken any good pictures yet but i will be soon so follow my instagram if you want to see more and thank you all so much for watching and for hanging out with me. I will see you guys in the next video. Let me know what you guys thought about these books in the comments. And stay hydrated, take a nap, and I will see you when I see you. Bye, everyone.